<laughs> okay, I'm recording the video. Okay, such that I can see. Yeah, so start up recording also. So yeah, so good evening, guys. We had two students today, so Jonathan and also Ben. I think last time I can't remember. So uh, we had one student. Sometimes he will also join. Okay, guys, uh, so you guys got chance to go through the module outline? Yeah? Yeah, I had a bit of a look. Okay. Like, yeah. Mm. So you know your blog course page, right? I communicate to, communicate to you, like uh, in my previous messages. You guys yeah, have yeah, your yeah, blog course date, right? Yeah, the uh, April and then uh, May, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, and also look at the ratings of the assignments and things like that. Okay, so you can upload it. Uh, so there you can refer there. Last week, actually, we went through this a uh, little bit. You got a chance to watch the video? Yeah, I, uh, I had a browse through it. It, um, it was sort of mostly stuff that we covered during the, the electrical principles um, course. Okay. Yeah, that, that's correct. Yeah, we just uh, revised uh, this. Yeah, today also I want to do a little bit of revision. Okay. So then I have that first topic, like that is uh, three phase uh, uh, electrical circuits. So we will do a little bit of electrical circuit. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Now, guys, uh, go to the uh, Moodle page. Okay. If you go to the Moodle page, so go to this uh, three phase theory tab. There you can find activity two. Okay. Because most of the time I want to do some activities, guys. Then it is not boring. Because uh, theory part, you guys can read yourself, right? You can go through the slides and likewise. Can yep. you guys, yeah, can you guys uh, get there. this activity? Yeah, you will open it. You all can see my, uh, my screen as well, right? So I have open. open. Yeah. Yeah, I've just sort of spot my screen in half. Yeah, okay. Guys, uh, this uh, first question that is from like uh, superposition theorem, like when we uh, solve these circuits. So when we have more than one uh, voltage source, so to solve them, we can use a uh, superposition theorem, right? So we'll look at how we solve uh, them just to revise it, because I think this is part of my electronic principle. Those who attended that one, they know it, okay? So, but uh, it doesn't matter, like uh, initially, first uh, two weeks, uh, we want to revise what you already learned, okay? Okay, can you guys uh, attend this question? Then I will explain, okay? Just try to solve this one. By using superposition theorem, you need to find current through R2 resistor, okay? Superposition theorem means at given time, we only consider one voltage source and we short circuit other one. In order to de uh, decide the final value of that current, we have to take the algebraic sum, okay? Sum of the current. Just try that, guys. Okay, we have Kiran also. Hi, Kiran. Kiran, can you hear us? Kiran? Kiran, can you hear us? Ben? You guys, can you hear me? Yep, yeah, I can hear yeah, you. I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. Okay.
Hello? Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, uh, shall we look at it? Okay, guys, uh, first, uh, what we need to do is we'll short circuit one, okay? Like, uh, let's say, yeah, so I'm going to short circuit this power source. So now just think uh, it is not there. Now, by thinking like that, so we can calculate the current, okay? so it should be this direction it is positive to negative terminal now in order to calculate that guys we need to find total resistance here because here we have two parallel uh, resistors so then so what is the total of these two values guys guys check the arms yeah so that is 50 ohms, right? Yeah. 50 ohms. Because that is two same uh, value resistors in parallel, it should be 50. Now, okay. So then what will be the total uh, resistance here? 150 ohms. Very good, 150. Now what will be the current here? That is 10 divided by 150, right? You guys agree? Point zero six six for area care. That's correct. One zero one six seven. Shall I write it like this? Six seven. Now, guys, that is the total current, right? So now I need to find R2. So that means it should be this direction. What will be that value? Because we have two similar resistance, uh, 100 and 100, it should be divided to two equal values, right? You guys agree? 
Yeah. So then that should be so zero point zero three three ampere. Agree, guys. Guys, you all okay? Yep, that makes sense. So because when the current come to this point, it divide into two branch, two equal branch. So then that means half of the total current, right? So that is the value. Now, now we did one part. Now, guys, consider next one. So now we short circuit this branch, okay? Like this. Now we consider this power source, okay? When we consider it like this, what will be the total resistance again? So this is hundred. Again, here it is 50. It will be 150, right? Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, so then what will be the uh, total current this time? Direction should be, guys, this should be the direction, okay? Because plus two minus. So this one should be this direction. So then what will be the current? It should be five divided by 150. You guys agree? Yeah, so it's just... Uh... The uh, 0 0.033 reoccurring yeah, again. Correct. 0 0.033. Uh, now, guys, it divides into these two equal branch, right? So here and here. So then that means what will be the uh, current through R2? That should be half of that, right? Yeah, which is uh, so then, 0 0.016. Mm. Six, seven, maybe. Okay. Now both are into this uh, this direction. Okay. Now what will be the IR two? It should be according to the superposition theorem. It should be algebraic sum of these two values because they are into same direction. So that will be zero point zero one six seven plus uh, this value zero point. 0, 0.33. Three. What will be that value? Uh, 0 0.04967, if you like. Okay, 0 0.049. Okay, so that means, guys, can I write it like uh, 50 milliampere? Yeah, that's close enough. Guys, you all got it? Guys. Guys, you all got it? Yeah, mate, all over it. Okay. So what I hear is Ben's voice, right? Jonathan and Kiran, what happened to you guys? I don't know, I've been talking to you. We're not okay. questions. Ah, yeah. ah, yes, okay. Yeah, okay. You guys all okay, right? <laughs> no, I, I went off on a tangent. I was doing that other bloody Kirchhoff's loop circuit thing. I missed last week. I only got access to this like okay. early this week. Yeah, I was off on a tangent. But yeah, it makes sense. It's all good. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Okay. Mm, that's it. Now attend the second question. Don't get confused with the uh, picture. So if you look at it carefully, you can reduce it to very familiar uh, circuit diagram. Okay, so try that one.
guys uh, you guys managed to simplify the circuit like uh, yes Ah, uh, yeah, maybe, but I'm sure. Okay. Mm. Shall I draw it? Uh, so, guys, in this way, we can redraw it, right? Okay. It is not really necessary, but if you find it is uh, convenient and you see that circuit, so maybe you can redraw it like. So then this one also. So here it should be positive. Like this you can redraw, right? So here the value is uh, two point. 2k so this one one kilo ohms this one it is again one kilo ohms uh, this is 20 volt this is 15 volt okay see now guys it is a bit familiar right isn't it Try to solve it, guys. Now, here one important thing to consider earlier case current is in one direction, okay. Uh, but this case you will find it in two different opposite directions if you calculate it, okay.
Okay, guys. Now we'll uh, show you how to solve this one. Now again, guys, we need to short circuit it. Okay, so we'll see. First, I will short circuit uh, this middle power source, fifteen volt one, like this. Okay. Now what we need to find it is the current to this resistor R three, right? Now when you short circuit like this, what you can see here. So you can see one kilo ohms and two point two kilo ohms resistors, and here one kilo ohms resistor. What will be the total, guys? Total resistance. Yes, guys. What will be the total resistance? Uh, I had a bit of a go. I think it might be one point six eight seven k. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Total resistance that is one point six eight seven five ohms. Okay, guys, you all got that answer. So now, what will be the current here? So if I mark current here, I let's say I one. So that will be twenty divided by this value one point six eight seven five, but that is kilo ohms, right? This is kilo ohms, guys. Okay, kilo ohms. Right, ten to the power three. So that means, guys, I will get it. So I got point zero one one eight amps. Uh, it is uh, isn't it eleven point eight five milliampere? Yeah, same thing. Okay. Okay, guys, I hope you all got this answer. Okay, eleven point eight five milliampere. That is the total current. But what will be the current through this branch? Now direction should be this one. Okay. So what will be the value? So you guys can apply current divider rule. Can you guys remember current divider rule? So what we do, guys? Eleven point eight five multiplied by one plus two point two multiplied by one. Because, guys, in current divider rule, we take sum of these two resistors and divide that current value with this one and multiply by opposite branch. That means kilo ohms branch. Okay? Can you guys remember, guys? Yeah, vaguely. Okay. So, what will be the current through then? Two point two kilo ohms resistor in this situation. That will be three point five nine. Guys, you got that answer. Uh, not quite. I think I punched something into the calculator. Okay. Oh, otherwise, guys, what you can do is you need to find voltage between these two points. Okay. How we find the voltage? Now you know uh, the current. Okay. Current multiplied by. Uh, what is the current value that we got? Eleven point eight five. Ten to the power negative three multiplied by so total resistance. Total mean guys these two. Okay, what will be the total resistance there? Yes, that is a zero point six eight seven five, right? Zero point six eight seven five ten to the power three, right? Because it is kilo ohms. You can cancel these two. That will be guys eight point one. You guys got it. Voltage between this A point and B. That is eight 
पॉइंट वन वोल्ट गाइज यू गाइज गॉट दैट वैल्यू बिकॉज वी नो द टोटल करंट राइट दिस आई वन सो वी कैलकुलेटेड दैट ऑलरेडी ओके सो इट इज इलेवन पॉइंट एट फाइव नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड वोल्टेज एट दिस ए बी पॉइंट ओके फॉर दैट वन वी अप्लाई सिंपल सिंपल ओम स्लो that mean we is equal ir so here i known so then we calculated the total resistance that is uh, 0.687 okay when i multiply these two value like this so then i am getting this voltage guys 8.1 volt guys you all agree yeah guys yeah you got that value guys Okay, when you when you uh, have that uh, voltage, what will be the current? Can you guys calculate it? Just divide this value by two point two, right? Then you get the current. <coughs> voltage divided by two point two. Yeah, so slightly different, guys. Uh, it is three point seven. So here earlier one, what we got is three point six. so here we get uh, 3.7 okay because of our ap approximation guys guys you all got that answer guys are you clear up to this point yeah. uh, voltage I of ab point i think i think the one a little bit different like i can't remember this so i kind of threw it out of my memory books but um You just go total current, and then you divide it by uh, the total resistance, and then just times it by the opposite branch or something like that. I can't really yeah, remember. I got the right values, but I just can't remember. That that's correct. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, that's the yeah. current divided rule. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I got them, but I rounded way earlier on, so I ended up zero point zero one two total, mm -hmm. and then zero point zero zero eight four. I was I was using different units, so that kind of screwed me up for the rest of it. Okay, uh, yeah. So you guys uh, agree with this value, three point five nine milliampere. You want me to work out again, guys? Up to this uh, total current point, uh, is that okay? Eleven point eight five. You got that value? Yes, guys. Yeah, I'm sort of following along. Mm -hmm. so when you get that uh, total current so then i apply current divider rule to find current through 2.2 right so then we got 3.59 i work out the same thing again uh, another way so what i did is we know total current then i took the total of uh, 1 kilo ohms and 2.2 kilo ohms resistance that comes to 0.6875 with that one i can find voltage at a b point So when I know the voltage, it is eight point one. That divide by the resistance two point two, I should get the current through two point two uh, kilo ohms uh, resistor branch, right? So that is also similar, three point seven. Guys, uh, now uh, we found that current value. Now what we need to do is short circuit this twenty. Uh, Volt uh, voltage source and open fifteen volt. Okay, now see what will be the current through two point two kilo ohms resistor. Now this is something like uh, this. Okay, I can read out this uh, circuit again. Something like this. This is one kilo ohms. This is two point two. This is one kilo ohms. So this is fifteen volt. Okay. Now the current should be uh, flow through this side. Okay. That means opposite side, like this. Okay. Now, guys, what will happen? What will be the total resistance here? Now, what I did, guys, so I move this resistor to this side. Okay. 
just to make it very simple guys you guys agree with this circuit what i draw guys guys are you guys agree with the yellow color circuit all what i did is i simply uh, short circuit 20 volt uh, voltage source okay left that uh, 15 volt open okay just check guys uh, whether you are getting the same circuit guys are you guys with me yep following you man okay so the yellow one is is that okay yellow color circuit yeah i think so okay so kiran you guys okay i assume you guys okay now now try to find that uh, current through 2.2 total resistance again it is the same circuit because of that it should be uh one point one uh one point six sorry one point six eight seven five okay now because of that current flow it should be fifteen divided by one point six eight seven five ten to the power three okay so that uh, gives you guys 8.8 .8, maybe i will say 8.9 milliampere current okay that is the total current okay now when that is the total current what will be the current to 2.2 branch you can simply apply current divider rule so that is 8.9 multiplied by total resistance that is 2.2 plus 1 multiplied by 1 you don't need to say it is kilo ohm because uh, both top and bottom we have kilo ohms we can cancel it okay so because of that 8.9 multiplied by 2.2 plus 1 multiplied by 1 so here we get the current 2.78 milliampere okay current through 2.2 branch so this current that will be 2.78 milliampere guys you all got that value guys are you guys agree with that uh, calculation guys it is the same thing i did this for yellow color circuit okay guys are you guys okay ben yeah we got it okay okay now now tell me what is the total current what's the total current so total current i so we need to find current through r3 that should be we need to take the algebraic sum because of that 3.59 second value should be negative because it is opposite side 2. Point 78 that mean zero point eight zero nine 
guys tell me whether you guys agree with this calculation yep that makes sense okay okay good guys i hope you all are okay with this okay Okay, so I'll erase it. Now try this. Uh... Okay, now attend this one, guys. Q three. That is to find the Thevenin equivalent. Uh, okay, circuit. Thevenin equivalent means, guys, if you guys can remember any given circuit, we can redu uh, reduce to Thevenin form. Okay, so for example, this one also we can reduce to one voltage source. One voltage source like this, and also we can find Thevenin equivalent resistance like this. Okay, for this circuit, you need to find these two values. Resistant RTH, Thevenin equivalent resistance VTH, Thevenin equivalent voltage value. Try that one, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, now when you decide the uh, Thevenin equivalent resistance, what should happen is you need to short circuit your voltage source, okay, like this. Now, to relative to this AB point, you need to find the so total resistance, okay. You can forget this one because uh, we are looking at value relative to AB points and you don't need to worry about the load resistance if it is not given, okay. You can ignore it. Now, if you look at this circuit, what will be the total resistance uh, between AB point? Yes, guys. So here you can find two series resistors. So the total value of there, that is uh, So then here uh, it come to 690 ohms okay so then we can see okay this is a uh, short circuited now here you see two parallel resistors okay 1690 so 
total expression is something like this 1 over 1000 plus 1 over 690 plus 1000 ohms. This should be the total statement for the resistance. So that comes to Guys, what is the value here? What is the total resistance here? Is yes, guys. 1408.3. Very good. Yeah, that's the answer. 1408.3. That's correct. Okay, that is total resistance. So that is RTH. Okay, this value here. Tevan in equivalent resistance is equal 1408.3 ohms okay now guys you need to find voltage they were in equal resistance mean guys all this resistance network you can reduce to one resistance with the value 1408 okay when you come up with this circuit, it is very easy for us to analyze it, okay? For that purpose, we are doing this Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now, if you forget these two, these connections, because you don't need to worry about this one, RL. So how we find voltage between AB point? Yes, guys, how we find it? how we find uh, voltage between a b point so now you need to look at this yeah you need to look at the circuit so here now this is available what will be the current flow of this circuit so current flow it will be like this because there's no circuit complete this direction there's no current to this side current will flow through this one okay now, if that is so, can we find voltage between these two points? It is all about voltage divider rule, right? So how we apply voltage divider rule? Forget this side. No point of considering that because there is no current flow. When we think this, these two points are open, no current flow. So if you look at this side, voltage between a B point, it will be V Thevenin voltage that is equal 10 multiplied by total resistance, it will be total of these things that means 1690. And to find voltage between these two points, total of that it should be 690. This should give you the answer. So that comes to. What will be the voltage, guys? Got the answer? Guys, got the answer? I just didn't quite follow that. You're talking about current first, and then you went off to an that other equation I've made sense if you found the circuit current, I'm guessing, and then and then okay. went 10 divided by the current across those two. But yeah, sorry, I didn't quite follow. Okay, now here, what happened is, so the, uh, yeah, the current flow is through R1, R2, and R3, right? You guys clear that there's no current flow through uh, R4, right? Yeah, yeah, got that. Okay. So then guys, just apply a uh, voltage divider rule. So because what we need to find is voltage between these two points. Okay. But so you why, is it, why is it voltage divider? If, oh, sorry. Yeah, series circuit. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's correct. Or maybe like uh, you can simply find current, finding current between 10 divided by 1690, right? 
So then you get the current and multiply that current with the total resistance to find AB voltage. Even that is fine. It's the same thing. Then you will get the same, same equation, right? Guys, tell me the answer. Is it four point oh eight two volts? That's correct. Correct. That's correct. So that is uh, four point oh eight two volt. Okay. Now that is how we solve the problem. Like now we calculated Thevenin in equivalent voltage, Thevenin in equivalent uh, resistance. Okay. In other terms, I can draw this one. So this circuit can be reduced to this one where VTH equal 4.08 volt. This resistance that is equal to uh thousand four hundred and eight point three ohms so that is the idea guys we can reduce this whole circuit to this uh voltage source and also the resistance is that clear guys yeah that's clear okay so when you're saying thevenin th voltage or whatever the hell it is, it just means between the two points indicated. That's there. correct. That all depend on the viewpoint. So now in this case, it is A and B points. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, now we jump into three phase, guys. Okay, that is another activity. Now for this one, guys, uh, I have discussed this thing in your electrical principle class. I have uploaded that same slide set to uh, this uh, relevant section in your power engineering uh, course. Just go to that. I think first two material that will be the uh, activity one, activity two, and also the slide set for this uh, three phase, okay? So try to attend this uh, Q4. Now guys, here you need to be, uh, okay, fine. Uh, each line voltage, then we need to draw this in a phase diagram okay that is the task the voltage phase voltage is given okay
okay guys if you guys can remember so here phase voltage mean guys this voltage okay this is the phase voltage okay these are phase voltage value line voltage mean guys maybe voltage between these two line c b or maybe a b likewise that is our line voltage the relation between these two for example if you look at the line voltage maybe let's say a b line voltage that is equal to 3 times v phase voltage that is how we calculate it okay that is the equation to calculate that phase voltage and angle guys first in the phase diagram i will represent uh, this phase voltages okay phase voltage mean these uh, given values they are 120 degree according to the vrms according to the question okay so first i will represent this one this is with the negative 45 angle so then If this is my coordinate system, I can draw this one like this. That is 120. Okay, this angle that is 45 degrees. So the next one, this is A, I will say it is A. So base B, A and B, the angle between A and B, that should be 120 degree. Okay, so because of that, so next one it should be 75 degrees like this that is b this angle it is 75 if you add them together you will get 120 uh, degree in total Sorry, I think I did mistake. Yeah, that's correct, guys. That is that is the value, okay? So then, guys, next one. That means C. When you draw C again, you need have so 120 degree. So after this uh, value, okay? So that means, guys. I can draw it uh, somewhere here like this. This total angle, it will be negative. So this also should be negative, negative 165 degrees angle, okay? Negative 165 degrees. Guys, you all okay? You guys yeah. agree with that, guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, up to this point, that is clear, right? I just draw the phase phase uh, voltages, okay, in a phase diagram. Now, what will be the uh, line voltage? For example, just think about AB, okay? VAB. V A B line voltage, guys. Potential difference uh, difference mean V A B mean actually. So we need to subtract. Let's say this is A. So V A B mean V A minus B, right? You guys get it? Got it, guys? V A B mean V A minus V B, right? potential difference that is how we define voltage right so that mean guys if you want to find like angle so just extend this one to this side because it is negative then so the total it will be somewhere here okay that mean i'll represent it in different color If you look at VAB, it will be 
uh, somewhere here. Okay, guys. Is that clear, guys? So the angle between these two guys, so that will be uh, 30 degree. So with the uh, VA, A, so the angle, it should be uh, 30 degree, okay? Let's use you. Likewise, guys, all these angles. So if you look at this uh, light voltage angle, so it should be a width 30 degrees angles uh, with A and also 30 degrees angle with uh, this B and also 30 degrees angle with C. So that is how they uh, how we draw them like in this situation. So this should be again 30, that means 105 degrees, okay? So 105 degrees. Mm. Yeah, so we should shift this one a little bit. Okay. So, and also, so between these uh, line voltages, again, we need to have 120 degree angle, okay? 120 degree angle. So this is 105. So then from that point, again at the, uh, 120 so that is uh, 225 okay so where we draw this uh, 225 there should be one line somewhere here that is uh, in between these two it should be 120 uh, angle so this angle it is uh, 105 so then remaining one guys it should be 15 degree, okay 15 negative 15 degree because 15 plus 105 we should get uh, 120 right so then this one it should be from this point 120 degree okay 120 or oh, all together it is 135 so likewise guys with 30 degree shift we can draw uh, line voltages so that means from this b point so this one it is 30 degree angle likewise guys we can draw uh, line voltages guys is that clear guys Guys, you guys follow me? Yeah. Is that clear, guys? Because, guys, can you guys remember that when I explain it? So, when we get this uh, phase voltage, easiest way to think is actually to this phase voltage, you need to add 30 degree to get the line voltage. Okay. So, here what happened is if you look at this B point and this one, it is 30 degree, right? So we can tell this one, guys, it is VBA, okay? Actually, VBA. When you say VBA, that is B minus A, okay? So then this A comes here. So when you take total, it is between B and A, okay? That is how we get it. Guys, is that clear? Yeah. For each of these uh, phase voltages, you need to add 30 degree, okay? To get the angle. You should be okay with the value, right? So what will be the value? So it should be, guys, uh, here V theta is given root three multiplied by 120, okay? So that means, guys. 307.84. That's correct, yeah. 200 and 7.8 okay 
so likewise we have three three such uh, value with the angle okay for this one 207 if i mark vba that should be um, 207.8 angle is uh, 135 right uh, yeah 105 sorry 105 VBA that is equal 207.8 angle 105 degrees. Okay, likewise, so we need to have three values VLCB VCB that is. 207 again same value angle that should be negative that angle is negative uh, 135 degrees okay so that is this angle 135 because we measure it to the uh, opposite side it should be negative okay and what about this one that is uh, yeah this line that is VAC. VAC is equal same value 207.8 degree. Uh, the value it should be negative 15. Guys, is that clear? Guys, is that clear? yeah okay okay guys uh, so what you know uh, need to do is guys go through this uh, three phase uh, uh, electricity slide set again okay i have uploaded that go through it again try to attend rest of the question in this activity okay and also revise what we did also so if you need uh, help with that uh, Tevan in equivalent circuit and uh, first few activities, you need to refer your electronic principle slides. If you haven't uh, done that uh, subject, what I can do is, guys, I will share those slides as well, okay? Because in this uh, power engineering part, we, we require to uh, refresh uh, this knowledge before we start, okay? That is why I put these activities. Guys, you all good? Yep. Is that is that enough for today, guys? Guys, yeah, that is enough, sorry. right? Yeah, that is enough, right? Okay. So, yeah, guys, uh, we will meet again next week. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the class. Okay. Good night, guys. Just uh, revise what we learned. Oh, thank you. Mm. Okay. Good night, guys. Yeah, cheers to Okay, cheers guys.